Thank you, Mr. Chair, Mr. Secretary. <clears throat> it's been a little over eight months since the incredibly tragic Maui wildfires, some of the worst in our country's history. And um, I want to start by thanking um, the Department of Homeland Security, the Federal Emergency Management uh, Agency, FEMA, uh, you personally, uh, as well as Administrator Criswell, Mr. Fenton, and your entire team for the response uh, on Maui, which has been a tremendous response. Uh, we have uh, certainly felt uh, that you have been full partners uh, in this recovery. Uh, I have Mayor Bisson actually from Maui in the room here, and uh, he wanted me to express his personal appreciation to you as well. Uh, you've been in touch with him personally. You've met with him. You've stayed in touch. And so thank you for your, your response. Um, also to this subcommittee, including Mr. Joyce here, uh, who visited personally himself uh, to uh, find out what was going on. And uh, this committee and subcommittee responded by, in part by plussing up our disaster relief fund, which needed to be done in our last supplemental, as well as the actions in the FY 2024 uh, bill. Um, aside from, uh, I think, many uh, positive areas of progress, uh, the one that is the missing piece is housing, as you well know. Um, the history here is that the, the fires uh, displaced about 12,000 people. Um, 4,000 of them went into some other form of housing, uh, very unsatisfactory right away, and 8,000 went into hotel rooms themselves. Of that 8,000, um, we have um, uh, still today about 2,800 individuals, about 1,100 families. Um, they clearly don't want to be in those hotels anymore, and neither does FEMA. You want to move them out of those hotels. Um, and yet, um, the very uh, unique circumstances of the Maui housing market make it very difficult for you to follow your kind of standard approach. Uh, FEMA has made choices in the past between rehousing and rebuilding. You've chosen rehousing on, on Maui, um, and I understand that, uh, but that's not going to be all of the solution here. You actually do need some form of rebuilding to pull this off over time. Um, it's not going to really do the job. The federal um, delegation, the Hawaii delegation, uh, the state of Hawaii, uh, Mr. Bisson and the county of all asked FEMA uh, to come off of the rehousing exclusively uh, solution here uh, and instead move to the actual construction of um, at least some temporary transitional housing on land that the state of Hawaii is making available to you to do that either the actual housing itself, which would be transitional, or at least the infrastructure for that housing so that other people can take care of it and put in about 1,000 uh, units that are desperately needed to cover a gap in the housing availability. And that gap is caused not only by the shortage of housing on Maui in general, but by the fact that there are many uh, people that are, are being housed in hotels and otherwise that are not eligible uh, for FEMA housing right now. They've been disqualified for many reasons. And so um, there's, there's two solutions here. The, the rehousing exclusively is not going to work. Uh, the rebuilding has to happen in some way, shape, or form. Um, some combination of rebuilding, transition, transitional housing, and or the exercise of your waiver authority to allow the people that are being disqualified from rehousing uh, to actually uh, get into that rehousing market. I think this would be good all around. You certainly are spending a heck of a lot of money that you don't need to be spending um, on some of these housing options that you've pursued in a, again, a very tight market. So what can you, you know, tell us about your thoughts in terms of uh, the Maui wildfire overall? And again, I say this in the context of sincere appreciation for your efforts. Congressman, thank you very much for recognizing the extraordinary work of FEMA uh, in close partnership with state and local um, officials. Uh, uh, you correctly described the housing challenge following the tragic fires as extremely complex and difficult, and we are looking at all our options and also are eager to work uh, with Congress to assess what additional authorities FEMA might need. We're working across the administration, not just uh, the Department of Homeland Security through FEMA, but also with housing and urban development, with economic experts to understand what uh, is the right solution for the people of Maui, whether rehousing is inadequate and therefore we have to rebuild the challenges of rebuilding are, are difficult because of its island status, its unique um, uh, uh, situation as an extraordinary tourist destination. The price, the, the pricing of housing is different than many other. Uh, yeah, I, I appreciate that, Mr. Secretary. I'm sorry, my time's uh, almost up, so apologies for interrupting you. I commend you on all of those efforts, but we don't have time 
um, the answers are, are pretty straightforward. You're never going to be able to satisfy, satisfy this on a strict rehousing approach. Um, there's not enough housing in the, in the overall market. Um, you can't leave people in hotel rooms for another six months to a year while you figure this out with the economic experts. Um, some decision needs to be made on some form of rebuilding and or the waiver authority that will relieve the pressure on that rebuilding. So I commend that to you. We'll follow up with you personally. But again, thank you very much for your efforts, and we'll, we'll stay in touch. Thank you. I look forward to it. Thank you. Thank you, sir. We